Hello, hello, hello. It's Max and me, Wendy V, your happiness coach and healthy aging mentor. I'm coming to you today to share some kind of insight that I've gathered or that I've noticed. Uh, I don't know about you, but I've been struggling a bit with all that's going on. Um, ugh. I'm like a moth to a flame, even though I don't want to. I keep finding myself constantly um, trying to find out what's going on and then feeling overwhelmed or fearful or anxious. And um, although I know it's important to stay informed, what I have found is that I'm probably too informed or maybe uh, what I feel like I need to do is balance it out with um, more hopeful, more positive um, messages. And, and, you know, I mean, we've talked about this so many times, you know, what we think about, we bring about. And so if we're fearful, if we're anxious or whatever, and that we can change our feelings and our mindset. We can use gratitude. We can use music. Uh, we can use journaling or writing. And um, just, you know, I let all those things crowd out and this other stuff crowd in. And so, as I said, although it's important, um, I just been feeling the last few days that I, I need to um, stop, catch my breath, and bring balance back to my life and maybe even tip the scales um, because it's no mistake that I'm here. It's no mistake that you're here. Every one of us is here for a purpose and for a reason. And um, as I work on gratitude, you know, I've been able to find with this virus lots of things to be grateful for. And I think one of the things for me and one of the things I, I'm hoping for others is that as we spend this time alone or um, social distancing or together with our families, um, that we take the time to think, do we really want to go back to that, whatever that was for you, um, or could we do something different? Is there a better way? everything's changing and so how do we want it to change and um, as I've taught many times before this um, journaling from the heart so I, I woke up oh, first thing I always do I don't know about you is I buy a new book and I found this just the other day I trust the next chapter because I know the author and it was sealed, and I don't usually buy a, a book that's sealed, but it had these beautiful gold edges, and I just, this happens to me, I don't know if it happens to you, I just, things call me, you know, and I put it back, and I took it down, and I put it back, and I looked at all the others, and then I put it aside, and you know, I just, and I just, I couldn't leave it behind. And even though I didn't know what was inside, I brought it home. And I don't know about you, but I just like, oh, I hate to crack the cover. I hate to, you know, how am I going to start this? And what is this journal going to be about? And ask those kind of questions. So as I'm, and I've told you this before too, ask yourself a question as you're going to sleep. It allow, you don't think when you're sleeping, but it allows your self-conscious self or, your, or uh, the question to simmer. And um, I, I think I've told you this, your brain cannot not answer a question. So you answer it, while, or you ask it while you're sleeping, it's searching for an answer. So I, I woke up and um, I undid the cellophane and I opened it up. And it's, it's uh, the title page is Prayer and Purpose Journal. And that was the thing, what's my purpose? Where do I wanna go from here? What should I do right now? And the very first, um, it has these, if you can see it, pretty little sayings and quotes in the corner of each two-page spread. I didn't know they were there, but I love them. And this first, very first page says, declare over yourself. 
God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. I love it when these coincidences happen. And I was talking to my daughter um, the day I opened this book, and I was talking about how I was feeling some things that I, my heart was telling me I needed to do, but I was afraid. <laughs> and this says, don't take that spirit of fear. Concentrate, think about, set the intention for having a, a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. And that's the thing that I've been feeling these, these past weeks is whatever I say, however I say it, may it come from love, not from fear or anxiety or hurt or anger. Let whatever I say um, be clothed in love. And um, I also, I'm working on, my daughter's working on a memoir and um, she's got brain cancer, so the easiest way for her to do it was to, um, she spoke it into videos and I transcribed it for her. And one of the quotes in the book was, I will write and write and write until my soul is purged of its eternal struggle, until I no longer know the heat of passion, the cold of loneliness, the depths of pain, the universe of dreams. I will write until the search is over, until my longing is wasted away by contentment and peace, until my heart is satisfied. I will write until my last words have been said, until my soul is empty, until I can no longer feel or think, until that day comes, I will write. And so I wrote that as the first page of my journal to read every day to inspire me um i mean i know that i know that i know that journaling that writing out gratitude and you know seeking your heart's message are important work i think all of us should do it but anyway so anyway that's kind of who I am and what I want to do is um, find that tribe, you know, to, to be there for those people who are looking for the same thing. Um, later on that day, uh, the next page was always loved, forever redeemed. And I just felt empowered and encouraged um, to be loving. And today, oh, today was really powerful. And I'm probably running out of time already, and it didn't tend to go for very long. But just let me read this, the, the corner quote here. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will re be revealed in us. And that's it. That was my prayer without even knowing it. To stop looking at the suffering or how, how we can use the suffering for the glory that will be revealed. So I'm, I feel in my heart, it's time for me to look at what's next. How can I help? What can I do? Um, how can I make this world a better place? So I intend to focus on um, what will be revealed. This is Wendy V, your happiness coach and healthy aging mentor. I uh, I hope we can talk again soon. Uh, again soon. Again soon. Oh, here comes Max. He wants to say goodbye. Come on, buddy. He always knows when I'm saying goodbye. It's Wendy. It's um, Max and me, Wendy V, your happiness coach and coaches. Are you a happiness coach too? And healthy aging mentor. May you have a wonderful day. Love you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.